up everybody, Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy, jumping on real quick to do some fun reviews with you. I'm actually, um, got, was gifted these books from School of PE to do some reviews on, and I wanted to share those reviews with you if you're studying for your Civil PE depth exam. So, what the School of PE has done is they've released depth manuals for those taking uh, the, the Civil Engineering PE exam. These are preview editions. If I could just show you one of them. This is a preview edition. This one specifically is for water resources, but these are preview editions. So what the School of PE is doing is they are allowing people, uh, if you are a member of their course, to get these manuals as part of their courses. So if you wanna go check out their courses, go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. You can go check these out. You can see right off the bat that these books these review manuals are various thicknesses and I talk about this in each review but basically what you're getting here is a lot of material is covered in the AM uh, and if it is covered in the AM then it's found in their uh, review manuals for the AM for the PM portion you're getting stuff that's in uh, the PE spec but uh, like structures or construction as you or here well, what's this construction depth review you can see it's not very thick, and the reason for that is because most of that is covered in the AM portion. But you can see for transportation, this is the thickest book. Check that out. This thing is huge. So that's the thickest book, but um, and the reason why is because there's not a lot of material for the depth portion, right? Currently in the specifications, there's just no, not a lot of topics. So you got to cover a lot in a depth section review manual. So anyway, School PE has, has let me use these. I did a quick review of each video, which is um, what I wanted to share with you. Uh, and hopefully you will understand why I think these are great manuals as you check out the review itself. Um, but I, overall, I think they're uh, great books and definitely worth checking out. So stay tuned, it's coming right up. A review of each of these manuals is coming right up. All right, everybody, let's get right into it. Today we're talking about wah, 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 the Water Resources and Environmental Depth re Preview Edition from the School of PE. This is a fun book, and uh, what we want to do is just kind of give you a brief overview of what's in the book and what you're getting with this when you can actually buy it for yourself. So right now, School of PE has developed these this preview edition. I've been lucky enough to get my hands on it myself, but these are only available to School of PE students of their course. So if that's something you're already a member of or want to check out, you can go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE and you can go, um, you know, you'll get a copy of this book if you're a member of their course. So I've been doing these reviews for each of their books. Today I want to do water resources and environmental depth section. Um, again, this is a preview edition. There are some things missing that they will be adding in the future. Um, one of those things that they want to include in here is what's called total AR codes, kind of like QR codes. And what you do is you scan the code and it will bring up some video or a link to a site or things of that nature. You can get to know the authors, uh, things of that nature. So first thing I notice is the size. You know, this is a good one and a half inches or so in thickness. Not as quite as big as other reference manuals that you're aware of, but you get the idea. And um, overall, I think it's a really good manual that you're going to want to check out, especially when it goes public for everybody, which should be in 2022 when the PE exam goes computer-based, as uh, it was accelerated to do that because of COVID. All right, let's dive into it. So, water resource and environmental depth. Here we go. What <clears throat> Exam review guide for the water resources and depth environmental depth uh, preview edition you get the authors in the front what are you getting as part of the table of contents you're getting uh, what are you getting chapter one analysis and design hydraulics closed conduit chapter three hydraulics open channel chapter four is hydrology everything involved with that do 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 chapter five is ground water and wells Chapter six, wastewater collection and treatment. Boom, lots of information there. Chapter seven is our water quality chapter. Chapter eight is drinking water distribution and treatment. 
And then you got chapter nine is economic engineering economic analysis. They always seem to be throwing those in there. You got to know how to deal with the money. Here's your authors. So you got uh, wow, I cannot pronounce the last name here. Doctor Kamalapati. So you can read all about him right there. And then you got Mr. McKay here, practicing civil engineers. So you jump into the material then analysis and design. You get the contents at the beginning of the chapter, which is nice, so you know what you're getting into, right? And then when you dive into the exam, <laughs> what they do here is they give you an exam guide at the beginning. So look at that. You get your exam guide. It describes what you're getting into on the spec, how many questions are coming from the spec. This was as of 2015, you know, so when that changes, they'll have to update this as every exam will have to. Then you get into the theory and background information of the chapter, and then you just start getting after it with some equations and example problems, which is where your head should be, right? Okay, so one of the things I really like is things are in color. Um, in their AM review guide, they've got color tabs on the side. They don't on these editions. I'm sure they will in the future. But when that when these things go um, live for the public, but you can see, I mean, just what I like is that it kind of has a modern feel when things are in color, more of a textbook type feel. It's not all black and white when you've got everything in color and such. Beautiful equations, equations are referenced, so you can look those up quite easily. Um, good explanations, good figures, nothing is faded or fading. And uh, having it in color just gives it a modern feel to it, if you know what I knew what I mean. So, um, yeah, you get the idea. So this, does, again, is going to detail everything for you when you're studying. The only thing, like I, I think I've said in past videos, that is missing in these review guides is that you don't have an index in the back. So you, you're not going to be able to quickly look up a definition on something maybe you have a theory question on. You could you know jump in the index and look it up you're gonna have to go to the front the table of contents bring it up look through it find out if you can find it that way so that's the only thing i wish this thing had is something in the back something of an index and then having these color coded on the sides again this is a preview edition who knows how that's going to look when these actually go live for public sale but right now if you're a member of school pe Go check it out. If you aren't, you can use our link, civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. And I think it's a really good book, um, especially if you're needing additional depth stuff for your PE exam. This is not their thickest guide, but it's up there. You know, it's probably the third thickest. And um, that's okay, because Water Resources does not require a lot of additional resources, right? So anyway, guys, that's my quick review of this manual. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, use our link, civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE if you want to go check this out in the future. And it is available for sale for you. Go check it out. If you're a member of their course, you'll get access to this as well. So definitely worth it. Uh, I enjoyed reviewing it with you. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just a quick review of these manuals. Uh, thanks for School of PE for sending those and allowing me to do a quick review. Again, you have to be a course member to be able to get access to those. So if you need that, go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. But in 2022, 2022 and beyond, they will be released out into the public. So you can go check those out as well and get a version, even if you're not a course member, as they add more to it. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick review of these manuals, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. But hey, check out those cool mountains. <laughs>